Hello and welcome students to a new video from Shore of Sir's classes on ISI's main book, Test of Mathematics at the 10 plus 2 level. Here I will be solving some of the selected questions which some of you have requested me. This question is requested by Ashish. This is a 466th MCQ question from the book, Test of Mathematics. So they have given, I hope you have the book, it will be easier for you to proceed. So they have given a question. Uh, trigonometric question cos theta plus cos 2 theta equal to minus 1 that is given and uh, here theta lies between 0 to 360 so they are simply find the number of different angles that theta can satisfy so this thing is happening so putting everything in one side we can take cos theta common so 2 cos theta plus 1 Okay, to cos by 3 actually. So simply this give you cos 3 equal to 0, that is 3 equal to pi or uh, to 70 degree. No, actually pi by 2, 90 and uh, 270. Okay, so like uh, pi by 2 and 3 pi by 2. And uh, another one, 2 cos theta plus 1 equal to 0 gives you theta equal to cos 3 equal to minus half. So, which makes theta equal to 120 and it's double like 240 degrees. So, simply there are four possible solutions. So, the option B is correct in this case. Now, we are proceeding to the next uh, question. This one is question number 195. Okay. So, I'm giving you just a minute time. Let's go to 195 in your book. You can see the question I hope that uh, if you don't have it I'm also telling you what is the question in 195 requested by Priyanka so this question says let s equal to 1 to dot 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 100 okay so the number of non-empty subsets a the number of non-empty subsets a of s such that the product of the element of a is even so yeah we need to find the number of non-empty subset non-empty subset where the product is even okay so in this case we can select at least uh, one even uh, number so like uh, 50c1 50c2 in that way we can proceed to 50c50 utilizing the formula we can write this to the power 50 minus 1 and we can select any uh, odd numbers formation like 50c0 50c1 dot 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 50 c 50 so this is so this is only 2 to the power 50 so the total number of subset is the product of these two so this is 2 to the power 100 minus 2 to the power 50 or simply option a is the correct answer here next request is another uh, closer one 198 so in 198 number question they have asked, consider a quadratic equation from the form x square plus bx plus c equal to 0. And the number of such equations that have real roots and coefficients b and c from the set, and the set is also given 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, b and c may be real, a. So now they are fine. So remember that b square equal to a square greater than 4c because a equal to 1 uh, in order to the this can to be positive so it should be positive so b cannot be equal to 1 so b not equal to 1 so if b equal to 2 c equal to 1 if b equal to 3 since c has two possible values 1 and 2 if b equal to 4 c has possible values 1 2 3 4 and if b equal to 5 then c has the possible values 1 2 5 so simply total number of equations is first in this case 1 second there is 2 then 3 no so then 4 and then 5 so 12 Hence, option C is correct. Next, we are proceeding to question number 207. This one is a request and the name is not mentioned over here. Okay. Anyway, I'm going to solve A greater than 0 given B greater than 0, A not equal to 1, B not equal to 1. Then, they find the number of value of X which satisfy this given equation. And the equation is like log X base A log x base b equal to log b base a 
So if something like this is happening, so just split the log in this way. And this is log b by log a. This will be cancelled out. So log x whole square will be log b whole square because a anyway is cancelling out. And here log x equal to plus minus log b. So x equal to b or 1 by b. So there are two solutions and option b is correct. Next one is also from log 209 number question. So this question they have given log of 27 base 12 equal to a. They have to find log 16 base 6. We need to find it out. So log 27 base 12 is a. So log 27 by log 12 is also a. And you need to split it as small as possible. So this is 3 log 3 and this is 2 log 2 plus log 3 equal to a. And by further splitting this portion and taking the 3 in the other side, we can write 2 log 2 by log 3 plus 1 equal to 3 by a. And again putting all these things in this side, we can just write log 2 by log 3 equal to 3 minus a by 2a. So finally log 3 by log 2 will be 2a by 3 minus a. So simply in this case 2a by 3 minus a. So option c uh, is going to be correct. Okay. But they have asked us to find, okay, now they have asked us to find the log 16. So now log 16 base 6. So this is log 16, so that is 4 log 2 by log 3 plus log 2. So this can be rewritten as 4 divided by log 3 by log 2, dividing the numerator and denominator by this, and this is plus 1. Just putting the value here 4 by 2a by 3 minus a plus 1, we can get it that the final value is 4 into 3 minus a by 3 plus a, hence makes it option B is the correct option. Now another request is question number 234. This question they have asked about the number of points at which the curve cuts the x-axis. There is a curve given. Okay, that is y equal to x6 x cube minus 2. So we need to find the number of points the curve cuts the x-axis. So for x-axis cut we put y equal to 0. So we just solve it. So this will be x cube plus 2 x cube minus 1. Simply factorizing x cube equal to 2 minus 2 and x cube equal to 1. So this will be the minus 2 will to the power 1 third and x equal to 1 third like this is simply 1. So there are simply two points. Option B is correct. Okay. That's all for now. And so the complete solution you can obviously take our complete study material. And uh, you can also request us about the questions and about our classes. I am soon going to start a new online batch as well. And you can see our contact numbers and important stuff at this website. Okay. Hope to see you soon at ISI. Thank you.